Hello and welcome to my TBC Tailoring Specialization Guide. I will walk you through all the quests you have to do for each specialization. I will also show you the gear you can craft and share some useful information about tailoring. You will be able to pick up the specialization quest at level 60 with 350 tailoring skill. The specialization quest is picked up in Shattered City at this location. You will be able to choose between Shadow Weave, Spellfire and Mooncraft tailoring. I'll start with showing you what you have to do in order to become a Mooncraft tailor. Accepting the quest will give you Primal Mooncraft supplies. Open this item and loot the two items in it. The next step is to head to Sankamarsh. And at this spot that I marked is actually where we have to use the quest item that you picked up in the supply bag. Once you have done this, you will actually complete the quest. And now you will have to go back to Shattered City where we picked up the quest. Hand in the quest and this will make you a Primal Mooncloth Tailor Master. Now talk to the same NPC and buy the pattern Primal Mooncloth. Learn the pattern and now you will have to collect the materials but also go back to the Moonwell where you did the quest before. The primals can be farmed all over Outland and I have a guide with all the spots that I use when I farm these. Crafting the cloth will give you a long cooldown and that's why it's so important to be a specialist because that way you will make two cloth instead of one. But do notice you can only have one specialization at a time. Another reason why you want to be a specialist is to craft the tailoring epic sets. This is the set you can craft as a mooncraft tailor. And the set is for healers. These patterns can also be bought where you actually got the primal mooncraft pattern. Next is the shadow weave tailoring quest. Starting this quest will give you a quest item. The name of the item is Crystal of the Deep Shadows. This item has to be used at Elder of Shadows. Elder of Shadows is in Shadow Moon Valley at this location. Use the quest item at Elder of Shadows. This will make you complete the quest. And next we will have to head back to Shadred City. End it the quest. And this will make you a Shadow Weave Tailor. Talk to the same NPC and buy the Shadow Cloth pattern. Head back to Elder of Shadows, and here is where you actually craft the Shadow Cloth. Due to our specialization, we will also make two Shadow Cloth, and the cooldown is the exact same as Primal Moon Cloth. The Shadow Weave set is mainly for Warlock and people who plan to play a Shadow Priest. You can also use this set if you like to play Frost Mage because they are really good in early TBC when you farm heroics. The last specialization is Spellfire Tailoring. And once again we get a quest item from the quest giver. Now you will have to head to Netherstorm. It doesn't matter what location, but here in this zone you can use the quest item. This will summon an NPC. And the same NPC is the one that you have to kill because it drop a quest item that you will have to loot. If you are level 60, then you should probably ask for some help. Once you loot the quest item, you will have to head back to Shattered City. And in the quest, and this will make you a Spellfire Tailor. Buy this pattern and go back to Netherstorm. Remember to bring the materials that you will need for the spellcraft. Do the cooldown and once you are done, you will actually get the cloth but there will also be an NPC that you can kill. Killing this NPC is optional, but if you do it, then you can loot it and get some modes. The Spellfire set is the best in slot for mages for a long time. This set is going to be really expensive to craft, but that's why it's also going to be really important to become a Spellfire Master, so we can craft two cloth at a time instead of one. The last thing in this guide is some important things about tailoring. You will be able to craft all three cooldowns. You will need to be level 60 and 350 in order to get the specialization quest. 
you can only have one specialization at a time, but you can unlearn your specialization for 150 gold. This do mean that you could be a primal mooncloth master. You craft two primals, you unlearn your primal mooncloth, you go spellcloth master, and you craft two spellcloth. And that way you could craft two of each cloth every single time. If you're wondering how I usually level my tailoring from 300 to 375, then I also have a guide for that as well. You can find this guide in the description below this video.